Hi, welcome to today's two minute tasting. Um, we're going to be doing this. Kintodosh Rocks 2014 Tinto from the Dao region of Portugal. Um, now, Portuguese wine is something that's really close to my heart. I, I, I love it. Um, I think it's vastly underrated and gives you exceptional value for money. Um, so um, uh, I'm going to try and convince you of this over the next uh, year or so because I think I think Portugal's a, a part of the world that really needs a lot more focus on. Now I've been banging on about Portuguese wine for you know 15 years now, and um, and uh, even though my passion's there, the the market hasn't really. Sort of taken it to their hearts yet, um, partly because a lot of great varieties no one's ever heard about, um, but I think that's being helped by new world countries such as South Africa and Australia producing uh, grapes like Tariga Nacional and Tinta These 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 wine these grapes are going to these new world countries where the single grape variety is the most important thing. It you know if a, if an established producer does it then. The knock-on effect is that people will experiment with it, and then they'll find out more about where uh, these these grapes come from, and that leads them back to Portugal. So, um, but we're doing it the opposite way. We're starting where the grapes should be, um, and that is uh, in Portugal. The Dow's in the north of, of the country. Um, this this producer um, is Louis Lorenco, um, who's a very nice chap. I've I've met him on a couple of occasions, and he's he's a he's a, an exceptionally nice fellow. Uh, the grapes in this, Tariga Nacional, Jeanne, Alfred Chera, and Tinta Orige. Um, and let's give this a shot. It's like warm fruit cake. No, fruit pie. Um, so you've got a sort of forest fruit berry pie, um, which is still very warm. You're getting all of that sweeter fruit, you're getting a nice sort of pastry element to it as well. And then some warm notes, almost a... It's almost getting a, a, a chocolatey, a sort of chilli chocolate uh, aroma as well to it. <laughs> It's not surprising that this wine won awards in the past. So it's just this mouthful of coffee and the chocolate and the spice and then that lovely, more plummy uh, fruit coming off. It's like really good sort of purple plum fruit. Mmm. And then this delicious long finish, which just is a sort of slightly undulating ride of a little bit of alcohol coming through and then tanning coming back. Um, it's just it's cracking stuff. Um, I, I like this. I like this wine a lot. Um, it's a steal. I think it's about 13, 14 pounds. Um, and it's a, it's it's brilliant. This you should buy this. Just buy this this weekend. Um, it doesn't matter whether you buy it from me or another retailer. You really need to to get hold of Kintodosh Rocks. It's a, it's a fabulous bottle of wine. Um, I'd say I, I'd give this ninety points. I think it's it's delightful, um, delicious, divine. I'm getting quite poetic late at night, aren't I? Um, give it a shot. It's 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 fantastic stuff. Really really lovely. And don't forget to subscribe or like us on Facebook. See you tomorrow. Bye.